OK, here we're going to look at grading an assignment submitted into Moodle. So if we can actually go to the module, or we can click on the little hand that shows assignments that need attention, and go directly to the assignment. We can see we've got three participants here, two of them have submitted, and two of them have still to be graded. And we are past the deadline which was set, which was one minute ago. So I'm going to go and view or grade all submissions. We can see that it flags up this assignment is late and these two have been submitted ready for grading. You'll also notice that it says participant 639, participant 641. It does not actually identify the student by name. So when we're grading this, you just click on the file submission to view their work and then once you've viewed it you can then provide grade and feedback comments. So I'm just going to click in to grade this participant. I'm initially going to select ungraded which is a little dash because this work is going to be verified by a second member of staff and I'll just give a bit of feedback. and I'll give an indicative grade. In this case I'll make it A5. Obviously you can give a lot more feedback and then I'll save the changes and I'll actually go and grade the next one. So it's a quick shortcut. I'll select ungraded for the moment and There we have it. So I've left this ungraded, I've given my feedback comments, and I'll just save changes. Okay. This one, the assignment is overdue. If we needed to, we could let this person have an extension, which would change the time that they are allowed to submit within. Otherwise, you would grade them according to how long it's overdue. The next thing we would do is the verifier would come in and come to the same screen. So if I pretend that I'm now the verifier, I come in, click on the assignment, view or grade, and click in again to grade the participant. Having looked at the work, I can open that, but we'll not bother for this demonstration. You can then say, yes, this feedback is fair, this grade is fair. I'll just strip that out and actually apply it as the correct grade. And save. And then you see the grade is now here. This one still has a dash. I'll go in as verifier. Read through. Yes, an A4 is fair for this. You might also choose to add official comment. And I'll save the changes. OK, at this point, it's still not sent into the student's gradebook. The student still can't see it. We need to take the grading action when we're finished all verification to reveal the student identities. At that point, the students will be able to view their own grades. So make sure that's the last thing you do before submit releasing this to the students. And that's all there is to it.